Hello and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. I'm back today with another design team project for the Rubber Buggy. And so today I'm gonna to be making another card using some of the supplies that I received from the Rubber Buggy. Now some of these supplies I received this month and some of them um, I've had here for a while, but I will link to all of the products in the shop. So I'm gonna start out by using the Scripps stamp from the Stampers Anonymous Exquisite Set. So I'm just gonna use this one stamp from the set today. I'm also going to be using the 49 and Market washi tape, and this is the tr Tranquility set. And so I'm going to be using the three smaller um, rolls of tape instead of the wider one. I'm still not using that one today. And then I'm going to be using my Pink Fresh stamp pads, and so I'm using Mermaid Cove and Ocean Breeze. So I've just cut out a um, card front from a basic white piece of cardstock. And so I'm gonna start out with my Ocean Breeze Pink Fresh ink, and I'm just going to add some to the script stamp. Now I'm not gonna add this script stamp to a block because I just want to tap it randomly on my card front. So I don't want a perfect image. And I am sorry for the bouncing up close to the camera. I did not realize I was doing it. But when I stamp with um, without a block, I tend to bounce off of it so that I don't um, smear it or um, get a bad, you know, double image. And so I do apologize for that towards the screen, but you'll see that that's, I realize when I watch back my videos, some of the little quirks that I have. But it's interesting to see sometimes. So I'm going to start out with the, middle size of the three washi tapes here. And so this one is the butterfly washi tape and I'm just going to eyeball where I feel like it looks best. And I'm just going to take the washi tape across the front of my card. And then I'm gonna come back with the wider of the three. Now this isn't the widest one that's in the pack, but it's the wider of the three that I pulled out. And I don't have the measurements for them. It's probably on the pack, but I didn't look to see. So I'm going to bring it in across the card as well, as you can see here, just the opposite end. And I realized that I tore it off too soon. I wanted to go all the way across the card, but this tape really sticks and it will pull my paper off. So I'm just gonna leave that and we will work around it. I think that it will be just fine. So now I'm gonna come back with the thinnest washi that's in the set, and I'm just going to add another little stripe down the side of the last piece that I put down. So I'm gonna fold these back and see how it looks. And I think it looks fine, even though I missed that little spot. I don't think it's gonna be a problem on this card. So I'm just going to leave it and we're gonna keep going. So I'm just gonna come in with the Happy Birthday stamp. And if you saw last week's video, I am using a lot of the same products from last week in this project, but I really love all of these and I wanted to make another card using these products. So this is the um, happy birthday stamp from Magnolia Rubber Stamps. And like I said, I will link to all of this below so you don't have to search it in the shop. So I put the happy birthday along the top edge of the butterfly washi. And now I'm coming back with the Sizzix butterfly cutouts. And this is the thinner butterfly. And it comes with two pieces. You have a solid bottom and then the uh, cutout top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, add some of the ink to this one. So I added the Ocean Breeze to the bottom piece and then I added the Mermaid Cove to the top wings. And when I glue these wings on, I'm just gluing some of the middle and bottom of the little inside of the insect, you know, this little body, and then just a little bit on the middle of the wings so that the wings are loose and so that they um, give a little bit of dimension to it. And so I'm gonna add the butterfly to the card, but not quite yet. I'm gonna do a few more things before I add it. So first I want to add some more splashes. So I'm going to take my Uncharted Mariner Distress Crayon, and I'm just gonna take it with a wet paintbrush, and I'm just going to flick some splashes onto my card. Now this blue, color, it looks perfect with the 49 and Market washi tape as well as with the Pink Fresh ink. So I love how it all goes together really well. So once I, and this is just like your preference, how many spots you actually want, how many splashes you want. Once I get it the way I like it, then I'm going to come back in 
with the other Distress Crayon that comes in this pack. These th There's three in this pack. There's a purple one. I can't remember the name, but then you have the Uncharted Mariner, and then Mar Mariner, yes, and then you have the Saltwater Taffy. Now, the Saltwater Taffy is so light. When I try to use it for splashes, it just does not show up very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just tapping down with the um, center of my crayon. So I'm making sure that I'm leaving little dots. If you did it on the edge, it may make a bigger smudge. So I'm trying to make sure that I just tap straight down to make little dots so that it looks like splashes mixed in with the blue splashes. And so that, once again, you can see here how they show up. I just blend them in. And I think this color goes perfect with those butterflies. You can, as you can see, it seems to match the color of the butterflies in that washi tape. So now when I'm looking at the butterfly that I have added the ink to, blended the ink on, I'm not quite happy with it. I think that it's missing some little something. So I'm going to come back with my Ranger Distress ink, the Mermaid Lagoon, just to darken this blue up just a little bit more. And I think that's what it needs to pop on the card. I just want it to stand out and pop on the front of my card. So I audition it again on the front of the card. And I still feel like it needs a little bit of something else. So I'm going to come back with some Ground Espresso. And I'm just going to blend that along the edges of my butterfly. And I think that does help the butterfly to pop a little bit better. But I'm going to come back just one more time and just add a little bit of the Ground Espresso down the center of the butterfly. I think that it just needs a little bit something. I felt like it was too light for the card, but really it's your own preference, what looks best to your eye. So I'm happy with my butterfly. So now I'm gonna come back with some cotton string and I'm just going to wrap this string around my card and I'm going to um, follow the washi tape, the kind of the, the way the washi tape is laying on the card. So I'm just going to crisscross my threads back and forth a couple of times on the top and on the bottom. And then I will just add some washi tape to the back to hold the string down. I'm not even gonna worry about gluing it down. I'm just gonna use this washi tape to hold it down while I'm working on the card. So I'm just going to angle the butterfly so that it doesn't cover up the happy birthday. But before I add him, I want to add a few of these pearls. And these little pearls came from the rubber buggy as well. These are Spellbinders Fashion Oyster Self-Adhesive Pearls. So I'm just going to add two of the medium-sized pearls to my butterfly. I love adding pearls and um, the little diamonds, the little embellishments like this to butterflies and as if you've watched my channel for a while you know that I love adding butterflies to everything anyway so um, adding the pearls to the butterfly just sets them off a little bit more so I'm just going to glue down the center of the butterfly but I do come back later I don't show you but I come back um, and I glue the top edges of the butterfly down just to be sure that it is stuck really good and then I'm just going to add this to my black card base so to uh, press this down, you do want to make sure everything is dry, and I'm just using my bone folder to help get the edges down since the string is underneath. Well, this is the completed card, and I really love how this card turned out, and I hope that you have enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.